Gary from Mr. G Shave back for another Wednesday straight shave. <laughs> um, pointing at that t-shirt, this t-shirt isn't available for purchase. Um, I've had a few comments asking me about getting some t-shirts and things like that. Um, I've been thinking about it for a few months now and um, I think probably what I'm going to do is get some t-shirts printed with my current logo that you see at the beginning um, and, and it's down in that corner there. <coughs> um, I'm probably going to get some t-shirts with that logo printed and then I'm just going to give them away on giveaway, you know, whenever I do my giveaways. Um, I'm not, it, it, it gets a lot more complicated if I want to try and set up a, a, um, an ordering system with a printing company. Um, you know, what do I do? I don't, I don't want to make any profits out of this. It's just, you know, if, if I did do something with a website, then I'd probably put a, a one pound profit and give it away to, I don't know, cancer research or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know, but I haven't come to a final decision, but initially I think what I'm going to do is get some t-shirts printed and they will be giveaway only t-shirts. Um, so that that's what I'm doing with the t-shirt side. Um, this is straight shave number 42. <clears throat> um, and today uh, I'm doing something slightly different. I'm just going to try and cover this up. I've had a, there we go. I've had a parcel from Paul. You know who you are, Paul. I won't say your surname in case you don't really want me to say it. You can leave a comment below by all means. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to open this up. Um, but last, I've also had a delivery from J John June. So this is a bit of a mail call. Um, just going to open up my multi-tool. Get the knife out. And let's open these up. So I know what's in both of these boxes, but you know I've, I've seen quite a few of you do um, um, mail calls on their channels. So I just thought, you know what, let's do it. So I'm opening that up, and inside are four razors. Four razors. So let's pull them out and do the first one. <clears throat> so these I bought these off John June. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for them, but I, what I can tell you is I think they're all Swedish, all Swedish razors. So Matty, if you watch this, or Johan. This is one for Sweden. Right. So the first razor, if I can get all this cling film off, is this one here. Now, this looks like a four eighths to me. Let's just get that in focus. And it is a CV Helger Strand Eskil Stuna, but it doesn't actually have a mark. It doesn't actually say whether what number it is or anything like that. It's just plain text. So there you go. That's it there. I think you can probably read that. Um, and then on the other side, there is absolutely nothing. So it's just a CV Helgestrand Eskil Stuna razor in really good condition. So that's razor number one. Razor number two is in a coffin. J.A. Helberg, Eskil Stuna, Sweden. The, the end of the box is open, or the end of the coffin, but that's fine. I'm not too worried or concerned. <clears throat> so let's open this one up. It's 
So this might be a bit of a longer video today because I'm doing this mail call. So this one is J. Oh, it's on the box. <laughs> J. A. Helberg. Um, and this again, this is a small one. This has got to be four eighths or three eighths. It's really, really quite small. I'll do the measurements. Um, there's nothing on the rear in terms of markings. <clears throat> so let's see if I can get that so it's readable. Um, there you go. So that's a really nice looking small razor. Trying to, you package these really well with cling film, John. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I can tell just by the scales. I think this is a a CV Helger strand again. Oh no, it's not. It is an EDV. Nelstrom or Nystrom from Eskilstuna <clears throat> and it is a number 52 so that's it there again a really small I haven't got many of these little razors but they're really uh, I quite enjoy using these they're much more maneuverable <clears throat> let's try and get that so you can read it There you go. I think that's probably leg legible. So I thought that was a, another CB Helger strand, but it isn't. <clears throat> God, I'm in a mess here. I think I'm going to need my knife for this one. This is another tiny one. So these will be quite interesting to use. And this is another CB Helger Strand number 24 MK. And this really is tiny. Look at that. That is one eighth, two eighths. <laughs> There's the marking on the blade. And the marking on the other side. There you go. You should be able to see that. I love the point on this one. Wow, this is by far the smallest, I think. Oh, I don't know. They're they're about the same size. Those two. <clears throat> These really are all quite small. Now that one is definitely bigger than that one. So there you go. And then. This one looks like a four eighths, maybe five eighths. It just gives you an idea. Look at that. But there you go. So that's the four that I've purchased from John June. So I'm gonna move those out of the way for now. And then this one is from Paul. And this is a, a gift to me. He's learning to hone. Um, and he wanted me to try one of his edge and give him honest feedback. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is the razor I'm going to use today. It comes in a coffin. Wow, I wasn't expecting that.
So yeah, Paul has honed this himself. He's had advice from John June. And this is another, so it comes in a coffin. Let me just show you that before I continue. Um, it's got extra hollow ground on the box. Fully warranted. So there you go, that's, that's the box um, or the coffin. And this is the one that I will be using today. So I'm just going to remove this cling film. There we go. And this, again, it's another small, uh, you know, it's a four eighths, I think, which is great. And it is, let me just see what it is. J.A. Henkels. That's a very interesting uh, shank. Shank. It's gone out of my head what that bit's called, but yeah. I think it is a shank actually. But yeah, it just says J.A. Henkels on it. Is there anything on the other side? So that's, don't know whether you're going to be able to read that, but I'm trying to twist it a little bit so it, you should be able to read it. Anyway, so that's the razor I'm using today. So at that point, um, I'm, I'm going to, I haven't actually decided on the brush that I'm, yes I have. Hardware wise, that's the brush. My Yaki uh, Evil Zebra. And you'll see why when, well, you'll have seen why maybe on the thumbnails. Um, and then bowl wise, I think I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to bowl leather. I, I've done that quite a bit recently, but I'm going to bowl leather. And again, you'll see why later. So I'm just going to get myself ready. I'm going to have a shower and then I'll be back. Right, I'm back. <clears throat> Had my shower, got myself all ready. Um, I've actually lathered up. Um, so I'm just going to start off with Perazzo Red and uh, get this shave going. So I'm going to wet the face down a little bit. And that's the glass jar. Take about that much out. Rub it between my hands <clears throat> and then all over the face. So how's everybody's week been so far? I hope you've all been well and all looking forward to the weekend again as we all are on a Wednesday. <laughs> it's funny you start the weekend and you can't wait for it to finish. We're sort of wishing, wishing our lives away. Uh, until the weekend and then we don't want the weekend to finish <clears throat> so that's the pre-shave on the soap today I'm trying Perazzo Red so this is the first time I've used the Perazzo um, soap for a straight shave I'm sure it will be absolutely fine um, if I remember correctly this is quite a slick soap And it's all nicely lathered up. Now I'll tell you about a mistake I made uh, when lathering. I was, because everything's out of sync, because I did, oh, I, I hope you enjoyed the mail call section to begin the video. Um, yeah, because, it, because I did that, it sort of threw my routine. So I didn't even think when I started to lather that I hadn't wet the brush but I had squirted four sprays of water into the soap, so, and it worked. It worked absolutely fine. So, 
that's another way you don't have to wet the brush. <laughs> so, that way you don't get it dripping all over the place. But I'm pro it looks like I'm going to have to add more water again. Because I've, had, I've added about 16 sprays, that's 8 teaspoons of water. Because this was a completely dry brush when I started. So... This feels great. I'm going to paint in some water. Oh yeah. That's better. So not an exact measurement on this shave because, as I say, I forgot to put water in there. I forgot to wet the brush before I started. But that's the beauty with the synthetic is you can get away with that. Um, whereas you wouldn't be able to get away with that with a badger or a boar or a horse hair, I shouldn't think. <clears throat> right, that is good enough for me. I'm going to go for it. This is great. <clears throat> right, here we go. <clears throat> so Paul, <clears throat> excuse me, sent me this JA Henkels. This is a four eighths. Um, I've actually, before the shower, um, for, for reasons I'm not gonna go into, but for, before the shower, the, the bathroom was taken. Um, so I went upstairs and I measured this with a caliper and this is a four eighths. So uh, I'll put the exact measurements up there and, and Quite a few of those other razors I showed you before were 5 8 so um, anyway, right here we go. This is the first use with, um, with uh, Paul's Edge, who's been tutored or given hints to by John June. So here we go. Spine down first. Not bad, not bad. Considering I haven't shaved since Saturday, um, that's that's attacking quite a lot of growth. Let's just wipe this soap off the handle. So this, I think, is not a full hollow. Let's just have a look. No, I think this is a half hollow. I'm pretty sure this is a half hollow. Could be wrong. Um. <clears throat> but... It doesn't feel like a full hollow and it's not singing like a full hollow. But this is nice. <clears throat> it's not as sharp as John's yet. But as I say, Paul's just learning. But this is, I'd be quite happy if I didn't know about John June's Edge, I'd be very happy with this. <laughs> so this is a really good effort, Paul. Um, <clears throat> I 
I'm loving the size of this riser. It's, it's, um, I haven't got many 4 8 like this. <clears throat> um, so I'm really happy to have them. Um, but yeah, no, Paul, this is, I mean, thank you very much for sending me this. This is fantastic. Um, I, I, you know, I've actually got kitchen knives that are J.A. Henkel's filling, uh, you know, knives and they're excellent quality. Um, I've also got. I've got two sets of knives. I've got Gustav Emil Urn as well, which are not quite at the same level as Wusthof, but Wusthof are the what the chefs like to use, or you know, I, I know some use global knives and things, but Wusthof, in my opinion, are a proper working man's um, chef's knives. adding quite a lot of water to the face. So yeah, lots of razors. I've really fallen down the rabbit hole with these straight razors. I haven't bought many DEs. I've got one DE on its way, which is a very special DE. Um, And I will tell you about that when I get it, which I hope will be here pretty soon. But who knows with International Post and all of that. But that's the only DE I've got on order. Whereas I've just recently, I've ordered these five, well not ordered these five, this one was a gift, four were I purchased and I've placed an order for another Drew Dick. So, my Ace of Spades, unfortunately, um, had to go back to the cellar. Um, it was, Drew tried his best, but he couldn't get it to work. Couldn't get it to take an edge. So I used the refund money from that to buy a razor from Drew. So... That should be with me, I don't know, probably in the next month or two. It may it may not be here before Christmas. Um, not holding out. I mean, Drew's got a long list of people that, you know, have placed orders, so. Um, no pressure, Drew, if you're watching this, no pressure. Right then. Across the grain on this side is straight up. I quite like this because it's so small, you know, it, it just feels more manoeuvrable. Almost feels like the Kismet. I think I might just cut the end of my eyebrow off. <laughs> I felt it cutting my eyebrow still. There's not much of eyebrow there anyway, so. <clears throat> right, here it goes. Uh, 
that's almost big. I mean, against the grain there, it's not, but it feels like it's taken nearly all of it off. This has definitely not got the feedback of my hollow grinds, but it's doing the job. Still a way to go in terms of the edge on this, it's still got a, a way to go to get as smooth as John June's. <clears throat> but this is a really good effort. You know, when you think about it, John's been honing for a long, long time. And it takes time, patience, perseverance to uh, learn that art. It's not something that comes overnight. And I have all respect to those that, that learn to hone. Maybe I will one day. Um, I don't know. I'm, there's no promises. I've got a couple of gold dollars that I can test my honing skills on but I've only got one stone at the moment and that's just to ma maintain the edge on my razors which I still haven't used yet because I'm too frightened to <laughs> but I've got to do it I've got the gold dollars and it doesn't matter if I destroy those but I certainly wouldn't use it on any of these vintage razors um, not until I'm confident that I can do it right. I love the scent of this Prorazzo. Really nice, it's plenty slick enough. This is a, a proper classic shaving soap and it's doing an excellent job. It just goes to show you don't have to spend a fortune to get a good shave. Perazzo is really good. <clears throat> Recommend it to anybody, certainly a beginner. I mean, this is perfect for that. <clears throat> so here we go, against the grain. This is the real test for this edge. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Thank you very much, Paul. This is actually getting smoother as I use it. I can't give you any advice because I have no idea what I'm doing in honing. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, the only, the only thing I can do is give you feedback on how this feels. And as I say, it's not up to John's edge, but I wouldn't expect it to be. But this is a really good effort. Let's put it this way. Before I, as I said earlier, I think, I'm probably repeating myself, but before I knew about John June, I would have rated this as a really good home. It would have been probably one of the best hones that I'd had prior to John June. That feels great. <clears throat> so yeah, you should be proud of that one, Paul. Right.
right, I'm going to go and do a pickup. Let's feel around first, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to do pickups. Yep, there. A little bit there. And down here. Most definitely. So yeah, I've had quite a few new subscribers lately, so thank you very much um, to all my new and existing subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Um, you know, it just makes it all worthwhile. And, and I've had a few um, new commenters as well, which I really appreciate. I love it. It bit puts a big smile on my face. Love it, absolutely love it. When I get new new people getting involved in the comments section. Very difficult to get that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to even attempt it. Not going to even attempt that. I'll end up with a lot of claret if I do. That's as close as I ever get, so that shows you this is a good edge. So I'm going to do my usual thing now. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Cold rinse time. Cold water on a flannel or a face cloth and all over the head. Oh. <sighs> love that. <clears throat> Absolutely love it. <clears throat> right then. Boots, tea tree and witch hazel. This is getting to be a bit boring but goes well with the winter, uh, winter scents so what I use and I'm not going to use another witch hazel just for the sake of it because it just won't go <clears throat> that feels great next to no burn I forgot to use the alum but there's next to no burn so just goes to show you that was a cracking shave um, <clears throat> you know when it when you've got you haven't got a half decent edge on there you'll get you'll get far more burn because um, you'll have irritated your skin a lot more <clears throat> so that is an excellent edge pull no it's not up to you know john's john standards but that's it's close it's close it won't take you long to to produce um is that a cut no produce really good edges i mean this was a good edge but it's not quite there yet but just takes a bit of practice and perseverance 
Um, I think you did mention in our discussion that you haven't been honing that long. So for somebody who hasn't been honing that long, that's a really, really good effort. I'd be quite happy with that. You know, I'm not going to send that off to be honed by anybody. Um, you know, I'll be quite happy with that for quite a while. I'll just keep that, ed that edge on it. So thank you for letting me have it. I'm quite happy to send it back. If you want it back, you know, I'll be more than happy to sort of send that back. But, you know, thank you for the offer of the gift, um, you know, in... You know, because he wanted me to, or Paul wanted me to review the edge that he'd got on there. And it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Right, I haven't used this in a while. Salco. I found this buried in my shaving cupboard. Um, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd organised my shave den. And in doing so, I lost half the stuff. <laughs> I knew where everything was when it was a complete mess and disorganised. But... When I organised it, I, I, I lost or forgot about half the stuff I've got in there. So, <clears throat> Sarko, this is really good stuff. I, I really like this. Um, oop, don't want it in my beard. Yeah, I, I do like this. It's got quite a nice scent to it. Wow, brilliant. Doing a sig solo, doing my elbows. <laughs> right, okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's the end of today's shave. It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from this J.A. J. A. Henkel's Zwillinger Four Eighths Razor. Love it, I really do. The tang, that's what I was looking, the word I was looking for earlier. This tang is really unusual in that it's got the same material as the scales uh, and it goes all the way onto the tail there. So um, I love that, I really do. It's very unusual, I haven't, I haven't got another razor like it. So really, really pleased with that. <clears throat> I uh, will be using that again, probably off camera very soon. <laughs> when I get the chance that is. So that's it from me. I'll see you now on Wednesday for my head shave. Bye-bye for now.